Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Robertson and today it is time for episode 38 of season 4 and today we find out whether we beat Kyron Wilson and progress to the semi-final of the English Open, the first home nation series. Now at the mid-session interval we are locked in at two frames apiece and effectively it now turns into a best of five in today's episode and at the start of the episode I have got a bit of a confession to make <laughs> and this is the second snooker video I've recorded today. Today is Saturday and I went to record this video about half an hour ago and we had the classic no save glitch I'll call it. The classic glitch that happens where the game doesn't save um, and it takes you back to nil nil. So I started recording I thought well we've got no choice we've got to play this again. So I was there chatting away to you guys, and unfortunately you'll never see that now, but there, were, there was no classics in there, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and we actually took the lead, 2-0, two, two and went 2-0 up. And I thought, well, you know, if we're 2-0 up, we can afford to actually concede the next two frames, uh, which is what we did, and therefore we are back at two each. So it's the same scoreline. Unfortunately for you guys, it's not necessarily the same match, but ugh, the only thing that will differ at the end is the, the whole scores and all that spiel. Uh, but I just, I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, just so at the end of the game when you're going, well, I don't remember you making a century in frame number two, just provides a bit of context. But I, I thought that would be the best thing to do. Uh, it also means that I haven't got to put out a new episode on Monday, which is the first four frames again. And But yeah, that, I, I just thought um, I would explain that to you guys. But I hope you're all good. Um, really interesting test of their safety we've, had a, we don't, we've had a mid-session interval, which has consisted of about... What's that? 21 hours? Yeah. Um, and obviously I've had a bit of practice. I said, I said on Friday's video, didn't I? We're going to um, have a bit of practice. We're going to practice a bit, possibly between now and the next video. And I suppose the game heard me and thought, well, I suppose you want to practice, do you? Well, there you go. But we had a really good start um, in the version you'll never see now. But the score line's the same. Let's just not worry about that. Um, and let's focus on these five frames. Kyron's had a decent start. We've let him in first here. Couldn't do a lot about it. Four. I think he's going to try and open up the reds. Oh, no, he doesn't. Can he see no. something? Or is that end of break? He can. Ten. Tough shot coming up. Ooh, I have to play the green here. Well, whatever happens, it's going to be end of break odds to Jess, because that's a tough shot from there. But let's see. He is going to go for it. I think he'll get it, you know. Yeah, You might have heard my voice just slowing down when I thought it's end of break. I thought, eh, maybe not. That certainly is. So there's no doubt about that. Even if he had to, had have potted that, um, it would have been end of break. So it was, it was really effectively a shot to nothing. Get the five extra points um, or... Give your opponent a safety, whatever happens. This, of course, is the furthest we've ever got, though, in the English Open. So it'd be great to get to the semis. The dream, really, is to... Oh, no, this isn't going to happen again, is it? I was about to say, the free misses rule, surely not again. Um, but yeah, that was a bad safety from Kyron, so we've got a chance now in frame number five. Perfect pace required for this shot. The dream, of course, is to go and win all four home nations events in one season and uh, pick up the million pound bonus because I don't think anybody I've not heard of anyone who's published it online anyway I don't think anyone has done that uh, on snooker 19 won all the four home nations events so I suppose we don't actually know whether this million pound bonus is a thing in game but it's a cracking a cracking idea but I presume Barry Hearn was the one who suggested it but it's a cracking idea no one's ever done it of course in real life either nine but it's certainly an incentive. I think he's playing this with a lot of power. See if we can open up the reds. Eh, it's not a bad split. It's not a bad split. It leaves one or two open, which I'll take over nothing. Probably play a better split next time out, I suppose. I just genuinely, I know I do this a lot, but more than ever I would say, I have to thank you all because 
these videos, you know, whatever it may be, last 32, whatever it is, are getting over 100 views uh, every every episode now. 24. And, you know, we're probably averaging... I do track these things because I am a bit of an analytic saddo. Uh, we were getting roughly about 70 as an average. So, to any new viewers come along, I'm really happy you have joined us for the adventure. And I hope you're enjoying, which you clearly are, or else you wouldn't be coming back. Good split. And if you are a new viewer, please say hello down in the comments. It'd be great to get to know you all. I know the regulars. And you know who you are as well. But uh, yeah, it'd be great to have a chat well, to some of you guys down in the comments. The but this is a great chance in frame number five now. We've uh, split the reds really well. And for, you know, that, that, that's, let's, let's play the story. Let's play the proper story. Uh, for the first time in this match, we could lead. Which is massive. You know, we, we haven't led in this match yet. I'm very much saying all this tongue-in-cheek now because you all secretly know that we've bottled it effectively from 2-0 up. <laughs> but, you know, let, let's just stay with the story of what you saw on camera. Um, so, yeah, this will be the first time we've led in the match. And hopefully we can get some momentum. 48. All reds and blacks so far. No chance of that elusive one four seven break. I have to say, I'd, I'd love to make one. I really would before the end of the series. Plenty of snooker to be played before then, so there's certainly a chance. I think one forty is my highest break, or one four two, one four three, or something. We've never quite got the one four seven. Yeah, looking to drop this into the middle pocket. Down it goes. He seems full of confidence at the moment. 57. I think it's probably over the last season that we've developed a lot of confidence in and around the black. Blue used to be my colour, and I think that was probably the problem why, why we didn't really go anywhere, because... You know, you, you can run out of position on the blue a lot easier. Of course, it's a lot more ground to cover when you're playing the blue. That should be frame over, though. So we take the first frame of the session in good style. Lead by, I think, 58 now uh, with 43 on. So I don't think he'll come back to the table. Well, it goes... See if we can make that century. Tough shot, but it's there. I think we've come way too far for the black. But you know what? We've won the frame, so we might as well try and pop this from here. Because we can actually probably get an angle on the red. If we play this well enough. Half a chance here. I don't think we'll pop this, but let's see. We have, you know, we have. There you go. You know, you might as well give it a go. And we've not got a bad angle on the red at all. Eight. It's not going to be a one four seven, but if we can get all reds and all blacks, a bit of a mini mini Tough maximum, chance, isn't it? A chance nonetheless. Brilliant! What a pot. Eighty one. Lots of power on this shot. You know, need a lot of power. Black uh, yellows off its spot, which makes it a bit more awkward, but not too bad. But all reds, all blacks. 88. If we can get all the colours here, it wouldn't be a bad start, it's fair to say. What a top pot that was. 90. So potential 115 on here. 93. Looking to play this with a lot of power. Playing this with a bit of sides, give ourselves best, better angle. Nicely positioned for the blue here. Blue and pink both off the spot, so it just gives us a, an absolute nightmare. Wow. Well, that's that's pants, that is. That's gutting. We didn't even make the century. Oh, after all that. After all that, the horrible pot on the black. 
If we were going for a 147 there, I would have needed 10, 15 minutes to compose myself while I wept. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, it would have been nice, but how hum. We haven't got it. I wonder how much this red will move. Should come across the table and back again, but not when it hits the pink, unfortunately. But pink has been a nice cannon there because be that red isn't possible. So it's okay. Good shot. Dare I say we got away with it a little bit. Interesting shot, this. Just playing up to them. Not quite sure what I think of that. Whether he's got away with it or not, I don't know, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what I think of that. He looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Yeah, that's a decent shot as well, I think. I don't think there's any he's big really chance at a pot on. He's going to take this on, though. He's brave. He's brave and he's off. You know, that was a that's strange one to take on there. He's always, almost done what we did too much. He's took on... You know, something that's far too much of a risk. But I won't complain. We have got the chance to potentially lead by two now. We play our cards right. He's playing for the right corner here. That's a beauty. Played that because, of course, the pink does go back on its effort. spot, doesn't actually, but uh, oh, hum. I was going to play the red on the cushion, which is what we lined ourselves up for, but this just seems far Eight. better an opportunity than that. This and we can better position really this for the red now. The pink's not in the way. What a pop that is. Goodness me, that's a real cracker. 13. I ought to make a funny moment in Snooker 19 where we get a, a pop that's pretty crap. And... Uh, we go, wow, what a pot that is. <laughs> yeah, probably sounds really boring. I don't know. Let's see if we can get a split here. I can't see it with this sort of angle, but you never know. Ooh, we have got somewhat of a split. Cue ball just went too far, which is something you just can't sanction for, unfortunately, when you're playing with uh, top spin. It's got a good line, though. It's got a good length as well, you know. That's a good shot. That's an excellent shot and a challenge. So we've got the snooker. Fair to say, Kyron's not had a lot of the ball since this mid-session interval. I realise it's not football, by the way. One. That's a good split. He's got a real chance here. That's a good split. That was seemed ideal, the opportunity. I did think for a second there. I thought, oh, no. the it's just going to stick, effectively, the cue ball is. It's not going to move. Doesn't want to ever hit this. But this has been a really good start to the second session here. It's Nicely definite that when we get in our groove, Eight. we can beat anyone. When we're not playing well, we can play disastrously and lose to anyone. I guess that goes for anybody in, in any sport, though. I think snooker's a big one, though, for that. It's such a competitive field that if you don't play well, you can get beaten by anyone. And that's not an, an insult to anybody else. But if, you don't play, if you're not up to your, your best, you know anybody really in that top 128 can take advantage. And Hendry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I understand why he's not played in the Pro Series. I was listening to him on the BBC coverage last week. I get it, but uh, well, he's looking it's, a shame. it's a shame more than anything. I mean, he didn't know that, as most of us wouldn't, that this pandemic would have gone on this long. Very well here. 22. Uh... 
and hopefully he'll return for the Welsh Open. Be nice to see him there. I mean, that's only about a month away. If, well, it's about three weeks away, I think, actually. Now, can he drop but it wasn't necessarily linked to the pandemic. It was just he wants to get some practice in, and because he was doing the punditry for the Betfred Masters, um, he eight. wouldn't have had time to practice. We were out of position a bit here. So it need a, need a good pot on the green, and position should no, come should naturally to the pot we've got to focus on here. Oh, it might be a bit wide of the mark, but it's dropped. That's a pot. Side relief there. He'll be happy with that. 31. He's aiming for the left corner here. Navigate all the... Oh, that's not how he wants it to go. About to say, get round all the reds. We played it just slightly softer than we planned, and that's the result. Effectively way out of position. I am I am being shouted, so I'll uh, play the blue and bugger off for a minute. So we pop this and don't get distracted. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Well, we are back. I have to say, I don't know why I applied the blue like that. The position's not great here. As you can see, there's not really a pot on. Um, I don't know if we try and play this with side. I don't know. That's well Good, shot. The rest. Good shot. Good shot. So that got us out of an issue there, but in it, <laughs> I don't want to say the I word again. I've said it more than enough today. Um, we'll go for it. Inadvertently, that has caused us not to really be on anything else. But it's not bad position on the brain, which we'll take on. And that should win us the frame. And uh, from 2-0 down, we've done very much the same as what we did about, again, uh, not about, against uh, Stephen Maguire. However, it's not a best of seven this time. It's a best of nine. So we need another frame to make the final. 48. But it's been all us, you have to say, since the mid-session interval. Nice position on the black. Kyron hasn't really got much of a look in. 49. But when you're on a roll, when you're playing well, it just it just works for you. 56. And I guess you just take that for granted until it starts to go wrong. Because that can very easily happen. You know, from one frame to an X, you've seen it in games. We were flawless in the China Championship. And then in the last 32 against Nopon in this tournament, we really struggled. I mean, we're not going to get a century. I'm not worried about that. We lead by 85. There's 43 on the table. There is no way Kyron Wilson's coming back to the table here. And we'll just play a safe. We've actually got him snookered, I think. Very well judged shot there. Um, and we're one frame away from the semis. And in every event we're doing at the moment, we are doing really well. And long may that continue. Still a way to go, though. We do need to win one more frame to get to the winning line. Just hope it's not decided by the free miss rule like frame four was in uh, Friday's episode. I wonder who will, <laughs> again, you know, get to the winning line. We're, we're now thinking who we're going to get in the semis. Nothing like getting cocky like that, is there? Uh, but if we did, did make the semi final, I wonder who we'll get because we've had a fairly nice draw up to now. No offence yes, towards any of the players we've played. But in the last event, we had Mark Williams in the quarter final. You know, if, if you base things completely off rankings, then, you know, Kyron is a, 
a nice draw compared to Mark Williams, who we drew in the quarterfinals of the last event. Good queuing required here. Anything looks possible when he's queuing this well. I agree. We're playing really well. And as I said earlier, long may that continue. Risky shot, this. There's always the chance of the in off, but we certainly haven't. And uh, from that, this is a good chance now. Really is. Seven. Ten. Mm, under hit a bit, little bit for the black, so I think we'll play for the the blue. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. But this is a good chance to take three frames in three and knock Kyron Wilson out. Outstanding, superb pot. Fair to say so far, it's been a really good session. And if we are to get through, hopefully that momentum will continue into the next match. We're not there yet, though. Got a good chance here, but... 24. I know you can have a brilliant chance and not take it, so... It's not necessarily like it's a guarantee. Off the cushion. That Probably okay for the black. I'd like to go for the blue, but... Black should be okay if we look. Looking to play this softly. Yeah, nice and soft to get position for the next red. But would you believe that? We played entirely for the position there, took our eye off the pot. It's easy to do. And, uh, well, now it's Kyron with a chance. Can he bring the deficit down to just one? Let's see. He won't make this easy for us, we know that. I'll say that, I'll probably go and whack the reds no. open, but no. That's end of break. Looking to play a good safety here. Not a bad safety, no. but... Could have been better. No risk of leaving anything on there. Just put the red in behind the black, which limits what he can play. He can play a thin shot off the reds, what we tend to do, but he's going a bit thicker here. Not much, admittedly, but a little bit. Very this is the shot I was me. just talking about. Very low risk shot. Don't tend to leave too much on. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. Oh, is he going to get safe here? It's a good shot, you know. It's a good shot. Just leave a bit of a tempter here. He's going for and in the it. position we're in. I'm going to take it on. We need to play this with some pace. We need to commit fully to this. But we've missed it. But are we going to fluke one? Are we going to fluke one? We are, well, sometimes... You know, that that's very much hand on the table. Apologies to, to Kyron there. Um, certainly didn't mean it to go like that. But sometimes you do get a bit of luck. And, you know... Other players have got luck like that against us before. You know, it, it, it goes both ways. Spot. And in a frame that I thought, from that position, I thought, well, you know, Kyron's going to get in here and win this. He's aiming to sink this. We have got right what is the best chance, ultimately the only chance so far, but the best chance to go and win the match. Book a place in the last four of the English Open. Fourteen. We have to surely now. The way we're playing, be considered one of the best players on the tour on form. Nicely onto the colour. Fifteen. Okay, we play our fair share of stupid shots, but we're certainly okay at the moment. Twenty-two. This frame by no means over, but every shot we play, every pot we get, is one closer to the next round. Twenty-four. 
23. So we lead by 39. 59 on. Black makes it 46. This next red will make it 47. And with the next colour, we will be through. Barn snookers, of course, to the next round. Be pretty straightforward. Been an excellent performance, as I say. A few little mistakes in there, but they've not been fatal. And just the black needed, and it's there. And it looks like buying snookers, we are going to be through in style. It's the next round of the English Open. It'll be the semi-final. I don't, can't remember if it's best of nine or best of eleven. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Thirty-nine. Playing this with a lot of power. Let's see where we end up. We're going to be in a position where we can pop the red. We'll probably cut this in or get the one by the pink. Probably looking at getting the one by the pink, if anything. Well, he's taking the red on. Ah, well, we've missed it. Does it really matter? No. Kyron will probably come and shake our hand now. And with the result of five frames to two, we are through to the semi-final. Frame conceded. Frame and match, Neil Robertson. He's come through this quarter final and now the semi final beckons. Got a really good chance. We've got the momentum. Obviously, ignore some of these bits here with some of the match points because, of course, we did concede two frames to bring it back to two each, as I said. But really good performance. We beat Kyron Wilson 5 2. And we now see who our opponent will be in the semi final. Wow! 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 <laughs> wow! Barry Hawkins! That's brilliant! That is ex I mean, <laughs> A, it's excellent for the fact that we've not got such a challenge, in my opinion. But B, Barry Hawkins, we've played against him once in his career mode. Wow! That means there's some real big guns gone out here. Obviously, we know Kyron's out now. There's basically there's ourselves and Baz, right? So that means only two out of the seven guys above us are in the semi. This is the problem of no tournament trees. But compared to what we usually get on Snooker 19, with typically the the real high players getting to this point, I'm really shocked. But I really look, look forward to this. It's going to be either us or Barry Hawkins in the final of the English Open. It's fair to say whoever gets there. He's going to have a big, big, big increase in their ranking status. Hawkins is going to go up, you're looking, a few places. Obviously, depending on how he got on in Season 2. But another 20k for us. And, uh, yeah, really excited for this one. So, on Wednesday, we'll play the opening four frames with the rest, the remainder of the frames, in Friday's episode. I am so looking forward to this. I think it's a great chance for us to make the final of this event. And hopefully you can uh, join me for the ride. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And remember to subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. I've been TIJ Gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.